What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into an astonishing revelation that's got everyone talking. Elon Musk, SpaceX, and NASA are not just aiming for Mars anymore. Nope. They've set their sights on Venus. That's right. Humanity is preparing to colonize the second planet from the sun. Stick around as we unpack everything from the groundbreaking technology to the jaw-dropping implications this has for the future of space exploration and life beyond Earth. So, you might be asking, why Venus? Isn't it a scorching, inhospitable planet? That's a fair question. Venus has long been considered Earth's evil twin due to its harsh atmosphere and runaway greenhouse effect. But recent discoveries have hinted that Venus might have been more Earth-like billions of years ago and could even have had oceans. So why now? With advancements in space technology, ENASA and SpaceX have identified the upper atmosphere of Venus, where the temperature and pressure are more Earth-like as a potential habitat for floating cities. Elon Musk has often spoken about the need to make humanity a multiplanetary species, and Venus could be the next logical step. SpaceX and NASA, two of the most iconic names in space exploration, are officially collaborating on this ambitious mission. NASA's expertise in long-term space missions and SpaceX's cutting-edge spacecraft technology make them a perfect partnership for this venture. Elon Musk's SpaceX is already building reusable rockets that could drastically cut the cost of interplanetary travel, while NASA has decades of experience with Venus flybys and data collection. Together, they plan to launch exploratory missions, test Venus's atmosphere, and eventually deploy floating habitats. One of the most exciting aspects of this mission is the futuristic technology involved. SpaceX's Starship, with its massive payload capacity, could ferry astronauts, equipment, and materials to Venus. Meanwhile, NASA is working on innovative concepts like cloud cities, floating habitats that would hover in Venus's upper atmosphere, where conditions are more suitable for human life. These floating cities would rely on solar energy and would be built to withstand the intense sulfuric acid clouds surrounding the planet. Think of it as a massive airborne version of a space station, suspended in the Venusian skies. As thrilling as it sounds, colonizing Venus is no walk in the park. The planet's surface is still a hellish landscape with temperatures hot enough to melt lead. But the bigger issue lies in the thick, toxic atmosphere. With carbon dioxide making up 96% of the air and clouds of sulfuric acid, any human habitation would have to stay far above the surface. While the technology is advancing, the timeline for actual colonization is still decades away. These are monumental challenges, but with each breakthrough, we inch closer to overcoming them. What does colonizing Venus mean for the future of humanity? First, it signifies that we're entering a new era of space exploration, one where multiple planets and even their atmospheres become viable for human life. By mastering Venus, we could gain insights into Earth's own climate systems, potentially helping us avoid a runaway greenhouse effect. Moreover, this mission could pave the way for future generations to live in space, securing the survival of humanity. If we can survive and thrive on Venus, it opens the door for exploration beyond our solar system. While Mars has been the focus of human colonization efforts, Venus is now becoming a contender. The key difference lies in the conditions each planet offers. Mars has a more temperate climate, but lacks a thick atmosphere, exposing it to harsh solar radiation. Venus, on the other hand, has an extremely dense atmosphere that offers protection from space radiation, but comes with its own set of toxic and high-pressure challenges. The debate about which planet is more suitable for human colonization will continue, but it's clear both are critical targets for space exploration. One of the most innovative ideas for colonizing Venus is building floating cities. The concept involves creating massive airships or platforms that hover around 50 kilometers, 31 miles above Venus's surface. At this altitude, the temperature and pressure are comparable to Earth's, making it more habitable for humans. These floating cities could be made from materials 
that are resistant to the planet's acidic clouds and powered by solar panels, taking advantage of the sunlight that's much stronger on Venus than on Earth. One of the reasons Venus is being considered for colonization is the possibility of tapping into its resources. While the planet's surface is inhospitable, its atmosphere contains valuable chemicals, like sulfuric acid, that could be harvested for use in manufacturing and fuel production. Additionally, Venus's proximity to Earth could make it a strategic outpost for mining and resource collection to support future space missions deeper into the solar system. Venus has another advantage over Mars when it comes to energy, solar power. Venus receives nearly twice the amount of sunlight that Earth does, making it an ideal candidate for solar energy. Solar panels attached to floating habitats could provide a nearly unlimited source of power, which is crucial for long-term survival on another planet. In contrast, Mars is much farther from the Sun and its dust storms can block sunlight for weeks or even months at a time. It's easy to get excited about the technology and science behind colonizing Venus, but what about the psychological toll on astronauts and future colonists? Living on another planet, far from Earth, in a hostile environment, could lead to isolation, depression, and mental health issues. Space agencies like NASA and SpaceX are already studying the psychological effects of long-term space travel to ensure that future space colonists are mentally prepared for the challenges ahead. Artificial environments, virtual reality, and regular communication with Earth may help mitigate these concerns. Artificial intelligence, AI, will be an essential part of any space colonization effort. On Venus, AI could help in numerous ways, from managing life support systems to conducting experiments in extreme environments. AI-driven robots could explore Venus's surface and collect data without the need for human astronauts to be exposed to the planet's toxic atmosphere. Additionally, AI will play a role in navigating spacecraft, planning missions, and even designing floating cities. Alongside floating cities, biodomes are another concept being explored for sustainable life on Venus. These self-contained ecosystems could provide fresh air, food, and water to colonists, allowing them to live in a controlled environment. The domes would need to be made from materials that can withstand Venus's acidic clouds and harsh weather conditions. Creating a self-sustaining environment in space is one of the biggest challenges, but biodomes could be a key step toward long-term survival on Venus. A critical component of colonizing any planet is the ability to grow food. On Venus, space farming inside biodomes or floating cities could provide colonists with a reliable source of nutrition. Hydroponic or aeroponic systems, which grow plants without soil, are already being developed for space missions. Venus's abundant sunlight could help power these systems, reducing the need for Earth-based supplies. Growing food in space will also teach us valuable lessons about sustainable agriculture on Earth. One of the most intriguing aspects of Venus is the potential for microbial life in its atmosphere. In 2020, scientists discovered traces of phosphine gas in Venus's clouds, a chemical that on Earth is produced by microbial life. While this discovery is still being debated, it opens up the exciting possibility that life, albeit in a very different form from what we know could exist on Venus. Future missions will focus on studying these clouds in greater detail, searching for signs of life. Beyond colonization, Venus could become a hub for scientific research. Its atmosphere offers a unique environment for studying climate change, atmospheric chemistry, and planetary geology. Understanding Venus's runaway greenhouse effect could provide crucial insights into Earth's own climate challenges. Additionally, Venus could serve as a laboratory for testing advanced technologies that could one day be used for space exploration in even more extreme environments, like the moons of Jupiter or Saturn. While it might sound like science fiction, space tourism could one day extend to Venus. Once the technology for floating cities is perfected, wealthy tourists could visit these airborne habitats for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Imagine flying through the Venusian clouds, gazing down at the planet's hellish surface from the safety of a high-tech, floating hotel.
While we're a long way from this reality, the prospect of space tourism on Venus is becoming more plausible as technology advances. Space exploration and colonization could have a massive impact on Earth's economy. As companies like SpaceX pioneer reusable rockets and reduce the cost of space travel, the space industry is expected to boom. Colonizing Venus could create entirely new markets for goods and services, from energy production to resource mining. Additionally, advancements in space technology often lead to innovations that benefit life on Earth, such as new materials, energy solutions, and medical breakthroughs. While SpaceX and NASA are leading the charge, international collaboration will be key to making Venus colonization a reality. Space agencies from around the world, including the European Space Agency, ESA Russia's Roscosmos, and even private companies from various countries could contribute expertise, funding, and technology. Space exploration has always been a global endeavor, and the sheer scale of colonizing Venus will require cooperation on a global level. As we prepare to expand beyond Earth, ethical questions arise about colonizing other planets. Do we have the right to alter another world's environment? Should we be focused on fixing Earth's problems before spreading to new planets? These questions will become more pressing as Venus colonization progresses. Ensuring that space exploration is conducted responsibly and sustainably will be critical to maintaining the integrity of both space and Earth. Ultimately, the colonization of Venus is part of a larger vision for humanity's future in space. Elon Musk's goal of making humanity a multiplanetary species is about ensuring the survival of our species in the face of potential disasters on Earth, like climate change or asteroid impacts. Venus is just one step in a much larger journey that could one day take us beyond our solar system to new worlds in distant galaxies. This vision is ambitious, but the technology and determination are making it increasingly feasible. As we think about colonizing Venus, the role of advanced robotics cannot be overstated. Before humans set foot on the planet, a fleet of robotic explorers will likely be deployed to gather data, map the terrain, and assess environmental conditions. These robots could withstand harsh atmospheric conditions, performing tasks that would be dangerous for humans. With AI-driven technology, they can analyze samples and conduct experiments, sending real-time data back to Earth. This preparatory phase will be crucial for ensuring the safety and success of future manned missions. Designing floating habitats on Venus poses unique engineering challenges. The structures must not only float, but also endure the acidic atmosphere and extreme pressure. Engineers will need to develop materials that are both lightweight and resistant to corrosion. Innovations in 3D printing could facilitate the construction of these habitats in space, allowing for quick assembly and repairs. Furthermore, sustainable building practices will be essential to minimize waste and resource use, ensuring that the habitats can support human life indefinitely. As humans venture into the inhospitable environment of Venus, understanding the health risks associated with long-term space habitation will be vital. Space medicine specialists are already researching the effects of microgravity, radiation, and confined living spaces on human health. On Venus, new challenges will arise, such as the effects of high pressure and toxic air. Developing countermeasures, including specialized training, medical facilities, and emergency protocols will be crucial for the health and well-being of the colonists. Preparing astronauts for a mission to Venus will require rigorous education and training programs. Future astronauts will need to be well-versed in a variety of disciplines, from engineering and biology to psychology and survival skills. NASA and SpaceX will likely implement simulations that replicate the conditions on Venus allowing astronauts to practice decision-making and problem-solving in realistic scenarios. Education will also play a key role in preparing future generations for life on other planets, fostering a new wave of scientists and explorers. One of the critical challenges in colonizing Venus is communication with Earth. 
the distance between the two planets can result in significant delays in transmitting signals. For instance, a message could take anywhere from 4 to 14 minutes to travel, depending on their positions in orbit. Developing efficient communication systems, such as satellite networks, will be essential for maintaining contact with Earth, providing updates, and receiving critical information. This will also be important for the psychological health of the colonists, ensuring they can connect with family and friends back home. While colonizing Venus, discussions about terraforming the planet may arise. Terraforming refers to the hypothetical process of modifying a planet's environment to make it habitable for Earth-like life. However, this concept raises numerous ethical questions. Should we alter another planet's environment for our benefit? What are the potential consequences of such actions? Engaging in open dialogues about the implications of terraforming will be necessary to navigate these complex ethical dilemmas. Space exploration is not just a scientific endeavor, it's also a political one. As nations and private companies compete for dominance in space, the geopolitical landscape is changing. Agreements will need to be established to govern the use of space resources, protect the rights of astronauts, and ensure that colonization efforts are conducted peacefully. The collaboration between NASA and SpaceX could serve as a model for international cooperation, fostering partnerships that transcend borders and unite humanity in the quest for knowledge and survival. The public's perception of space exploration plays a significant role in funding and support for missions like colonizing Venus. Engaging storytelling, education, and outreach will be crucial to fostering interest and enthusiasm for these missions. The narrative of becoming a multi-planetary species can inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. Additionally, addressing public concerns and questions about safety, ethics, and the environmental impact of space exploration will be vital for maintaining support. The quest to colonize Venus will undoubtedly shape the future for generations to come. The challenges faced and the technologies developed will not only benefit space exploration, but could also lead to advancements in areas like sustainable energy, environmental science, and material engineering. As humanity pushes the boundaries of what's possible, it will inspire a sense of wonder and curiosity about the universe, igniting the desire to explore and innovate. Finally, colonizing Venus could serve as a launch pad for deeper space exploration. With advancements in technology and human adaptation to life on Venus, it may become a stepping stone for missions to more distant destinations, such as the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These missions could reveal more about the origins of life, the potential for extraterrestrial life, and the vast possibilities that lie beyond our solar system. The future of space exploration is limitless, and Venus could be the key to unlocking its mysteries. As we consider colonizing Venus, one of the key benefits will be the opportunity to conduct scientific experiments in an environment vastly different from Earth. Scientists will be able to study Venusian weather patterns, atmospheric chemistry, and geological activity up close. Unique experiments could include monitoring lightning storms, analyzing cloud composition, and studying the effects of high pressure on various materials. These experiments can lead to groundbreaking discoveries about not only Venus, but also the processes that shape planetary environments across the universe. Sustainability will be at the heart of any colonization effort on Venus. As we venture into space, it's crucial to prioritize sustainable practices to prevent creating another waste-laden environment. Utilizing local resources, implementing recycling systems, and harnessing renewable energy sources will be necessary to maintain life on Venus. By modeling sustainable practices on another planet, we can also glean lessons to improve our environmental practices here on Earth, creating a feedback loop that benefits both worlds. Biotechnology will play an essential role in ensuring the success of Venus colonization. Genetically modified organisms, such as plants engineered to thrive in extreme conditions, could provide food and oxygen for colonists. Advances in synthetic biology may lead to the development of organisms that can break down toxic chemicals in Venus's atmosphere, potentially making it more habitable. 
Exploring the intersection of biotechnology and space travel opens up exciting possibilities for both human health and environmental remediation. As we envision floating cities and habitats on Venus, space architecture becomes a vital field of study. Architects and engineers will need to design structures that are not only functional, but also aesthetically pleasing and psychologically comforting to colonists. The design process must account for the unique challenges of Venus's environment, such as extreme temperatures and corrosive gases. Creating livable spaces that promote well-being will be just as important as ensuring safety and sustainability. As we look toward colonization, the concept of cultural exchange becomes increasingly significant. Missions to Venus will involve a diverse team of scientists, engineers, and explorers from various cultural backgrounds. This diversity can lead to a rich tapestry of ideas and solutions, enhancing creativity and innovation. Furthermore, the shared experience of living and working on another planet could foster a sense of unity among humanity, reinforcing the idea that we are all part of a greater cosmic community. To prepare for the future of space colonization, educational initiatives will need to be developed. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics STEM programs must evolve to include space exploration curricula that inspire students to pursue careers in these fields. Educational partnerships with organizations like NASA and SpaceX could create internship and research opportunities, motivating young people to get involved in space science and exploration. Engaging the next generation is crucial for ensuring a knowledgeable workforce ready to tackle the challenges of colonizing Venus. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blessovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and as sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and as sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.